You know, one thing we also have been working with and toward is a volunteer fire department. You know, I remember very well when I was first elected to the city council in Rainsville, we had a 1960 and a 1970 model truck, and they were in the basement of the police department. I mean, that's just, and that's what we had. And we could probably carry a total of 1,500 gallons of water to a fire. You know, I've been on that side. I know what it takes to build a fire department. We come from that. When I left as mayor, we had four brand new fire trucks, a brand new fire hall, two rescue trucks, and a brush truck. And it was all paid for. You know, we need to bring money back to the rescue squads and to the fire departments. The thing about the fire department is, and I appreciate this, this is our seventh meeting at the fire department, and it's the same story every time. I know, and I guarantee you these Thomas knows, and Kerry knows, if we didn't have the tax that was put on a few years back, there's a lot of these smaller fire departments would have had done shut down. I mean, that's just the way it is. I was at Cartersville talking to their fire chief, he told me, he said, Nathaniel, our payment is $12,000 a year on our equipment, and our insurance is $12,000 a year, and we get $24,000 off our state tax, or off the county tax. You know, so to operate, actually, they gotta get out and raise money. This, this jacket alone is $982. That's what people just don't Just care for this jacket. The helmet, I think somebody told me, is about $350. Is that right, that's, Thomas? That's real close, yeah. The, the breathing apparatus, the air pack we wear on our back, the, the new standard just has come out, they're $5,000 a piece. So you just, money don't go anywhere anymore. And we know by supplying equipment to them, it helps everybody in the district. Because the better equipment we can get for them, the lower the ISO rating will go. And that means everybody will have a better opportunity to have lower insurance rates. The homeowners will be a lower rate if we can get the ISO ratings down. These guys work their tails off. And I appreciate what you guys do. I just want you to know that. Let's give these guys a hand. Thanks for what they do. <laughs> we thank you for what you do. When I was mayor in Rainsville, we was fortunate enough by working with every community in the county, every one of them, that we got an annex put in Rainsville. You know, uh, let me see the show of hands that's bought a tag or has per paid for your property tax or has done it in range. Well, how many of you done that? Just to everybody in here has. <clears throat> when we put that on a public vote, you know, it was one of those things where the commission, and I didn't blame them a bit, wanted to put it to the vote of the public, which that was great. When they put it to the vote of the public, 75% of the people in DeKalb County said that they wanted it. And I'll take them odds any time. But I guarantee if you put it up to a vote today, if you wanted to keep it open or closed, that that number would be closer to 85%. That office in Rainsville today has more traffic than the office in Fort Payne. If you notice about the things we've accomplished, we go back to it's a group effort. You know, I played football like some of you did, and uh, both of my sons coach football. We kind of have been from the background of athletic, our athlete, athletes in our family. But I've never seen anybody win a football game by themselves. You know, we can't win a plant coming to Fife by ourselves. It's going to take us all. Two ropes are stronger than one, and three is stronger than two. That's how this race is. That's why I need each and every one of you. By myself, I'm weak. You know, with you, you make me stronger, just like the Bible tells us in Ezekiel. And that's why I'm here tonight. I need your help. It's a long way to November, but I am so tickled to see this kind of crowd turn out, and I appreciate it. But I really do need your help, and if you can help with anybody you know, uh, we appreciate it. And thank you. The food's big one. Go through it. Stay as long as you want to. The food's in the next room, and thank you very much for coming. Thank you.